It is currently 7.52. Hi, hello. It's currently 7.52 and it is Friday the 10th of January. And I was really in a reading mood. I wanted to read a lot this weekend. And I just finished watching a 24 hour readathon that I think Ariel Bissett did or something. And then I started like binge watching them. And I decided I wanted to do one. All right, it is eight, he said eight o'clock. And I am going to start reading. I decided to start with the Resilient Walker. So I have my warm blanket because it is chilly. Ooh, it is chilly in my apartment. So I've got my warm blanket. I've got my drinks and my book. Let's start reading. how hard this hit I mean she had, she went through so many things and it's been a while so I got this book I started reading this book in November I want to say maybe maybe the end of October and I started reading it and I put it down I'm pretty sure that's why I put it down the first time was because of how hard hard hitting it was and I was just struggling to get through it because this is someone's real life story and what she went through and you, I just can't imagine and it's amazing because the school I teach at um, is for kids who have been through things like that like they've been through so many forms of abuse and so like neglect and it's really eye-opening and I highly recommend that if you work with or know someone that's been through something like this highly recommend but I am on page 67 I'm going to keep reading and I will update you guys later please ignore the mascara running all down my face so I just read a very very emotional part and I just I just need a little bit of a break Whew, I am very tired um, I have lost my phone somewhere so I do not know what time it is it's, if I had to guess it's probably around 10 30 or 11 something like that but since I last checked in, I read a chapter or two of uh, One Last Child, I think, the arc that I'm reading. And then I've also read, I think, two chapters of Teeth in the Mist. <laughs> My cat is really wanting attention. Okay, why are you so needy? I'm reading the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh my gosh, look at these pages. Aren't they just so beautiful? I'm so glad I finally got it. I found it in a used bookstore and it's in like nearly perfect condition. Oh my, oh, so beautiful. And Nixie's just gonna sit there. And watch me flip through them because she thinks they're pretty too, don't you, Nixie? Fun fact I actually have reread Harry Potter and the Chain. No, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I am so tired. I have reread Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone every year for the past four years, so I'm. 
I'm going to keep up with my tradition and read it again this year, but in this beautiful illustrated edition, and I'm super excited about it. I also started last year when I reread Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I annotated it. I will show you. Here is my book. It's all tabbed up, top and the sides, because I made a video. Sorry about my awful lights. I made a video talking all about it, reviewing it, but it's all, like I've got notes all in it and everything, and I, I love it. This is now probably my favorite book that I own just because all of my thoughts while reading this book are in here. And my goal last year was to read one every month and annotate it, but I didn't get past book one. She thinks she's a parrot. <laughs> what she wants is to get on my bookshelf. Ow. She thinks she's a parrot. What I want to do is do that this year, but I'm going to reread the first book in the illustrated edition. And then probably next month, I will move on to the Chamber of Secrets and annotate it. This one is Cleo, and she, <laughs> that's her butt. She's much gentler and does not claw me to death when she jumps on me. Okay, I just need to pop in here really quick and say something that is kind of bothering me, and it's, it's stupid. But in the books, the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, at the beginning when Dumbledore and McGonagall are talking in front of the Dursley's house. Dumbledore asks McGonagall if she would like a lemon drop. And I'm reading this illustrated edition, and he asks her if he would like a sherbet lemon. I don't know if sherbet lemon is what it is in the UK version, but it, um, and of course, you know, I've got my buddy reading it with me. It is close to midnight. I'm very tired, so. And my cat really wants my attention. Yes, I know. She really wants my attention. Okay, but I've got to make some comments. So, in the, in the book, in the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the original book that I read, the acceptance letter that Harry gets. I'm going to show it to you. Right here. It says, We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And if you go over here to the... <laughs> Nancy, to the illustrated edition, it says... Oh, let's get the glare. We are pleased to inform you that you have a place at Hogwarts School for Witchcraft and Wizardry. I'm still bitter about that one. Eight. It is just a few minutes later since my last little explosion of emotions about the word differences. I do now think that this is the UK version of the story. It's like the original UK version. Here's my reasoning. Because in the letter, so I'm literally in the same spot where it says, we are pleased to inform you, blah, blah, the differences. But then, down later, it says, in the version I read, so the U.S. version, term begins on September 1st. In the illustrated version, it says, term begins on 1 September. So the 1 is written first. And I think they probably do that in the U.K. So I think this is the U.K. version. That's what I'm going with. It makes me feel a little bit better. Now I really want to own the UK version and read that next. That's probably, that's the thing that's going to happen. But I got to get the illustrated editions first.
you imagine actually staying in a little hut like that on the rock in the middle of the ocean? That is t absolutely terrifying to think about. Whew. Good morning. It is... Oh. 9.40. I guess I fell asleep probably around one, little after one last night, which isn't bad considering that I worked all week and I was exhausted all day yesterday. But I did finish um, Resilient Walker before I went to bed. It was very good. I really enjoyed it. Very hard hitting. Makes you think a lot about trauma and overcoming trauma. I have my coffee, also affectionately known as Diet Dr. Pepper. And I have my Harry Potter Illustrated Edition. And I'm going to start reading some more. So yes, I will check back in later. Commander's Guide to Trolls, and I'm assuming <laughs> this is the book that Hermione says she read about trolls, and it just cracked me up because it come come down here first of all, look at this tiny brain. <laughs> but what I thought was funny was this little breakdown of the troll's mind, <laughs> and it says, "Food, nose picking kittens keep thinking it's Tuesday and violets." Kittens and cause, cause kittens and I keep thinking it's Tuesday. The ending is my favorite part. Oh, I love it. So good. Chapter one. An unexpected party. In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Not a nasty, dirty, wet hole, filled with the ends of worms and an oozy smell, nor yet a dry, bare, sandy hole with nothing in it to sit down on or to eat. It was a hobbit hole, and that means comfort. It had a perfectly round door like a porthole, painted green, with a shiny yellow brass knob in the exact middle. The door opened onto a tube-shaped hall like a tunnel. A very comfortable tunnel without smoke, with panelled walls and floors tiled and carpeted, provided with polished chairs and lots and lots of pegs for hats and coats. The Hobbit was fond of visitors. But... Is... 10-10. I am in bed now. I've taken a shower. I'm clean. It has been a very productive day. I am going to read some more of Teeth in the Mist and then I'm going to go to bed.
now Sunday morning. I have to get ready to leave soon. So I was going to go ahead and wrap up what I read over the last 24-ish hours or the 24, you know what I'm trying to say. The first book I finished was Resilient Walker by Dr. Shri Walker. I gave this five stars. There's just so much that happens in this book and I'll go into more detail in my wrap up at the end of the month, but it's there. It's a very hard hitting story about her life, what she goes through and it was very good. I had the opportunity to hear her speak in person and it sounded exactly like the book. So I, for that reason, and if you haven't heard her, if someone's reading this and they have not heard her speak, that they may not give it five stars because of the writing specifically. But if you have heard her, if you have heard her speak, then it's written just how she sounds, and it was fantastic. So five stars for this one. Then I finished, or I read the entire. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone Illustrated Edition. I am so glad I finally got an Illustrated Edition. It was fantastic. I was actually, I got this at a used bookstore and they had this one, the second one, and the third one. And I knew I couldn't get all three of them. So I was trying to decide between which of the three I wanted to get. And I almost got the Prisoner of Azkaban one because it's my favorite, well it's my favorite movie. And the cover of it is gorgeous, and I really, and it's of the three books, that one is my favorite. But I ended up going with the first one because, one, it's the first one, and two, because it was actually in the best condition of the three. And I'm so glad I did because I got to read this one in preparation for reading book two. So, five out of five stars. The illustrations get 20 out of five five stars so and then I read some more of Teeth in the Mist I got I am now about halfway through actually I'm a little over halfway and I was reading this last night and it thoroughly creeped me out I came I had to walk to my bedroom from my living room it's literally around the corner because I live in a one bedroom apartment so I walked around the corner and it was dark and I kept hearing noises. I was thoroughly creeped out. I had to turn on all the lights to walk into the living room. And then as I was turning them off, you know, like the, if you're walking upstairs from the, like, downstairs, whatever, and you like turn the light off, you have to run upstairs so nothing behind you will get you. That's what it felt like. It was very creepy and scary, but that's why I love it so much. So for my stats, I read a hundred and... 15, no. Yes, 115 pages of this. I read 153 pages of this. And then I read all 248 glorious pages of this. And I believe, if I'm wrong, I will put the actual number down here. But I believe that is 560. 16 or 515 pages over the course of 24 hours and it wasn't like I did sleep for at least eight of those hours so I think I did pretty well so I'm proud of that number I got almost three books read this was a lot of fun thank you for watching if you enjoyed it please like the video so I know to do more vlog style readathons like this and I will see you soon in another video. Bye. Thing right here. This is where my camera was sitting, and she had to sit right behind it. Didn't ya? What are you doing? What are you doing to my blinds? Oh, you you just want attention too? Yeah, say hi. <laughs>